Okay, we're halfway to the weekend. Happy hump day, everyone. Today, the talented chef and owner of RM Seafood, along with our ex boiler room, Rick Moonen, joins us as our special guest host. We couldn't, this is our, your first appearance of 2016. Right. First yeah, of the man. year. Yeah, right? So far. Yeah, so far, <laughs> exactly. So, for those of you out there who have not had a chance to try your fabulous restaurants, give us an idea of, of the theory behind it. That's the most important thing. Well, RX Boiler Room, and we like to pronounce it Rick's Boiler Room, uh -huh, of course. internally nice. anyway, is all about mixology, the, the art of the cocktail. You know, my bartenders were going into the kitchen more and more and more, uh, making their own ingredients, their own uh, cola syrups, their own root beers, their own bitters, their shrubs, and all of these things that went into the cocktail. So we, I, I created a, a concept around it, and we did some comfort food, and it's absolutely gorgeous. Steampunk. You walk in there, and you're just in awe. It's just, it's just, this, it's almost a museum of craziness. And downstairs, RMC Food, 11 years strong. Wow. It's about yeah. sustainable seafood, close to your heart, delicious. Always, always trying to be cutting edge with, uh, with what's, what's, what's cool and going on now. We got skate wing on the menu now, and all sorts of things. Sustainable, that, that's breaking news and yeah. delicious. Well, what is sustainable for those people who don't understand? Well, the the, you know, a lot of, a lot of seafood um, is overfished, mm -hmm. you know, because they don't have the ability to keep up with the hunt because it becomes super popular. Sometimes we destroy their environment so they can't keep up the population to a, to a healthy level where it can perpetuate itself or sustain itself, right. where the word's really driven from. Um, sometimes um, farming of fish um, is, is bad for the environment. There's escapes, they're, they're, they're carnivores, so they need feed that, is, that comes from fish, so the ratio can be off. The good news is some companies are doing a much better job yeah. now because they're listening and they're, 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 they're making big, big moves. They use a lot of chemicals in the past, using a lot less. There's other, there's other ways of, uh, of, 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 of keeping them healthy and delicious. So that's what, and, and, um, you know, and of course there's the things that they ingest. You know, that we pollute the waters right. and then people get all surprised because, oh, there's PCBs or there's, you know, methyl mercury. Well, that's because we've polluted the water. Right. That's not really so much about sustainability, but it's part of the topic. Exactly. Did, you so ever, yeah. did you ever make a transition into su sustainability in terms of food or, or have you always been into it? Well, I guess, I mean, early on and during my formative years when I was in New York City, you know, I was pretty much just focused on cuisine and cooking. And um, I, I got connected through a, a genetically modified um, interview, GMOs. Mm. And back then, it wasn't even called that. It was exactly. gene gen genetic, genetically engineered foods. Yeah, and I made a comment <laughs> about it. I got involved in it, started becoming a lot more outspoken. I got a lot of chefs. We signed on 5,000 chefs for the Chefs Coalition for the Pure Food Campaign. Wow. So I became recognized as this guy that takes a stand. And in my heart of hearts, the way I was brought up, the, 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 the chefs that I worked under really ingrained in me the privilege mm -hmm. that we have right. of natural foods coming to us right. and the flavors. And I've watched flavors evolve and morph as agribusiness became bigger and bigger. Yeah. I saw arugula that tasted great once. Now you get these huge bags of arugula right. that tastes like. Exactly. Right. So, you know. I won't we, say the M word Monsanto, but <laughs> I said it. You could say Monsanto, you could <laughs> yes. say Dow, you could say DuPont. Right. You know, they're all in, in bed together. You know, if, if Monsanto went away, someone else would pick it up. Yeah. We have to, as, a, as a, a, a human race, stand up and say what we want. We have to understand that sometimes you may have to pay a little bit more for it, but you're getting something that's yes. better for your body. Yes. You know, you yeah. pay you pay for premium gas for your fancy car. Right. What you put in your mouth is more important, correct? Exactly. I mean, every chef, later in the show, we're going to talk about your new show, <laughs> Recipe for Deception on oh, Bravo. Yeah. So let's get into Ooh. that. It's going to be so much fun. Yeah, yeah I can't <laughs> wait. Good stuff. So, coming up, we're going to talk about tickets and his um, charity event that's coming up. But right now, we're going to hop on over to our trending topics. There we go. And trending right now, a new 